you doing guys? It's Lily here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your PS4 to your laptop. It's fairly easy. First thing first guys, you gotta connect your Wi-Fi to the PS4. You could connect it with a LAN cable over here. It's easier that way. Or a wireless connection. And you're wondering, how, how are you supposed to, you know, connect the wireless connection to your PS4 if you don't have a monitor or TV. The thing is, everyone have a TV, right? Everyone in their like living room have a TV. Just quickly borrow it, connect the TV to your PlayStation, connect the Wi-Fi to your PlayStation, unplug it, and go back to your room and follow this tutorial, all right? When you have a Wi-Fi on your PS4 or a LAN cable, if you have a LAN cable, you just basically gonna plug it in, all right? If you have a Wi-Fi now and you have Wi-Fi on your PS4, right? Go to your, to your PlayStation. Go and download this software over here. PlayStation Remote Play. It's free and it doesn't take any. It doesn't take a lot of storage. It's I think it's 15 megabytes and that's nothing. Just go to the description down below. Um, click the link and download this on your computer, on your laptop. When when you when you're when you're done downloading it. Go get a USB cable, a USB cable, all right? Plug it, plug it in on your computer. And connect it to your controller, to your PlayStation controller. And, we, and it will light up when you plug it in. Turn on, uh, I mean, uh, open the software, I mean. And go on settings. Click on settings. Over here, PlayStation Network. is sign in to your PlayStation Network. It means PlayStation accounts. So sign in. And in resolution, make sure this is on 720 because it's faster. Because right now you're doing is to you remote play your you remote play the gameplay on your PlayStation to your uh, laptop and it needs connection and it needs you know Wi-Fi connection and you need a good amount of connection you need like a really a good internet connection if you don't have a good internet connection or you have a decent one go and select 720 frame rate here. If it, you don't want it to be standard, because if it's standard, it will lock to 30 FPS. You don't want to play 30 FPS. You want to play 60. And click on uh, select high because it's 60 FPS. It will lock on 60 FPS. So make sure this is on high and make sure the resolution is 720. And when you've done that, just click OK. And then go to your PlayStation, turn it on, and wait until these uh, power button uh, LEDs are white, all right? Wait until it's white. There you go. When it's white, go to your laptop and go to this menu over here and click Start. Now you just gotta wait. And you see here, I don't have any HDMI cable connected to the PS4 and my monitor I do not have any HDMI cable connected. And now, you just gotta wait. Now it's connecting, now it's connecting to the PS4. There you go. Now you have now your um, laptop became a monitor. Now you have it oh, here. Here's your PlayStation uh, home screen. You can click full screen, and there you go. I see here. I don't have any HDMI cable on my PS4 or on my monitor, and it's like it's that easy. You don't need any monitor. You don't need any TV, 
and uh, you just the laptop and the PlayStation. Here it is. And a quick tip, guys. If you see this black bar over here, make sure your mouse is not, is not hovering on the black bar because it will show this this bar over here. Make sure it's not on the black bar so it disappears. And here you go. Now you can play whatever game you want. Now your computer became monitor. So now you can play whatever you want. I'm gonna play the most like the most popular game, Fortnite. And you could also connect your, you know, plug in your um, keyboard and mouse to your PlayStation, so you would be able to play Fortnite on PS4 with keyboard and mouse. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. So here's my mouse. I connect it to the PS4. There we go. Here's my keyboard. Connect that. There we go. And to confirm it, you want to connect your keyboard. Yes. There we go. And now you're just gonna wait. Now you can play um, Fortnite on keyboard and mouse and uh, have your monitor as a mo have your laptop. I mean, as a monitor. There you go. And if you don't have that good of a uh, internet connection, you might notice some delays. And there you go. Battery Royale. And there you go, Fortnite on your laptop and uh, you, you can play with the controller or switch and play with the keyboard and mouse here you go or if you want to switch back play with the controller and you might notice that when you remote play your playstation to your laptop uh, you don't hear any sounds. You don't hear any sounds. So it's easy to fix it. On full screen, go to your sound settings and make sure speaker, or like the window speaker, the normal window speaker is on, okay? It's selected, okay? When you selected it, now you'll be able to hear sounds. See here? There we go. There we go. We're in. Now you hear sounds. And by the way, if you're gonna plug in a, a microphone or like a headset, I mean, you just gonna switch. Uh, go to on full screen the the menu or the PlayStation Remote Play app or software. Go to the Windows sounds. If you're gonna plug in a mic, a, a, a headset, right? Just go select your headset over here. If you select the headset, if you're gonna plug in a headset to the uh, to the Windows sound settings. And now you're just gonna. Now we're ready. We are ready, guys. Now you're playing. you play. Now you're playing uh, PlayStation games on your laptop or basically remote play the games on your laptop and now your laptop became like a monitor so you don't need any monitor or TV now I'm trying to see because the sun is on right, right on my face right now the sunlight it's really hard to see but here it is Fortnite on your laptop Fortnite PlayStation on your laptop guys Right, it's fairly easy. All right, just gonna try to pick it. Okay, it's it's hard to control. All right, while holding your while holding my phone, I'm playing at the same time. Um, uh, square. There we go. Now let's run away. Oh wait. Oh, wait. okay. There we go. Wait, it's hard to control with one hand. Um, there we go. 
Okay, let's drink this, this shield. Yeah, wait. Uh, it was what? What was the button again? The drink. It was triangle. No, it it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> um, it was X, if I'm not mistaken. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That it was L2. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. No. It, uh, okay. It was. It wasn't L2. It was R2. Right. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. It's been a while since I played controller. Or you can just switch. Plug in your keyboard mouse. To your PlayStation and switch, play and switch to keyboard and mouse. There you go. Oh god. But that's how you do it. That's how you uh, connect your PlayStation to your laptop. It's really easy. And if this succeeds for you guys, and if you have some problems, tell me in the comments. And if this succeeds as well, tell me in the comments. And I'll see you guys to the next one. See ya. Make him spicy, Papa.